Williams back at the big board tonight as we watch the balance of power in Austin. Some key races on the GOP side on these house races that we've been watching, not just uh, District 21. That's the one where David Covey is in the lead right now over Speaker Dade Phelan. These endorsed candidates by Abbott are doing very well across the state, and some of our colleagues have been helping me go through the data tonight. I'm going to show you a couple of other districts. Uh, we're going to zoom in and go all over Texas, so take a little trip with us. Up in East Texas, up in Carthage, uh, jo Joanne Schaffner, who was endorsed by uh, the governor doing very well in that race. Let's go to District 18. This is going to take us uh, the one we've been tracking here at home. Uh, Janice Holt in the lead again. She was endorsed by Abbott. We'll go to some others. District 44 is just south of Austin. Once again, we've got an incumbent losing. This one looks like it'll probably go to a runoff as well. No one going to get 50% plus one there. Uh, District 55. Uh, this is another race to watch. This is uh, north of Austin, where once again, uh, the incumbent is losing. This person, Hillary Hickland, may end up winning the race uh, outright. A couple others I wanted to show you. This is one uh, just south of the Metroplex, just southwest of Dallas. Once again, you can see here the candidate endorsed by Abbott is in the lead. So this is something that our colleagues uh, at stations all around Texas are tracking tonight, Brenda, and that is how well these candidates endorsed by Abbott, how much that endorsement mattered in these elections. So we're going to have to see, and certainly, as I said, some runoffs yet to come. Yeah.